So how much money do you actually spend at Yaspa? <laughs> well, since last week, you should be spending a little bit less. <laughs> right? Um, but it might actually surprise you um, if you actually try to track how much money you're spending. Um, and not just the big fill-up, but the little top-ups that you do in between. How much money you're spending in something like gas. What's your cell phone package? Right? So we're including everything. Um, doing a real estate budget includes looking at things like that. Are you going over your plan? And this is on your mobile. Are you going over your plan every month? Um, which means then you have to spend a little extra to cover the extra data you used or the overseas call you bake or whatever. So you need to pay close attention because maybe it is that you might need to switch your plan to get something with more minutes or whatever that will help you. On the other side, maybe you have a plan and you're not even using all the benefits of that plan that you're paying extra money every month for those little extras that you're not using. So if that is the case, again, it may be time for you to change your plan to something that would work much better for you. February 1st, Scotiabank will be removing all charges from using point of sale on transactional accounts. So that helps. That, that, that certainly will help. So that's an extra incentive for you to be using your card and keeping track of your expenses better. Another thing to keep in mind when you are doing your budget is to include the little extras. So too often when people make a budget, they stick to the big stuff, the essentials, right? But they don't put in a cushion in the budget for the odds and ends. And those little odds and ends can add up. So things like snack and the occasional lunch, um, a gift that you might need to, to purchase, unexpected medical visits. So make sure that you include a line item for miscellaneous expenses, whether planned or unplanned. What you, what you can do to make it easier to handle is after you've assigned a particular sum for miscellaneous expenses in your budget, withdraw it and set it, set it aside. Whether you put it in an envelope, put it in a different part of your wallet, put it on a different account, but at least you, if it is separate from everything else, when it's gone, you definitely know that it's gone. And that's the end of that, right? You move on. So when it's finished, you won't be able to buy that extra snack, you'll take lunch from home, that sort of thing. Another way that you can trim your budget is by going green to cut your energy costs. And to put a twist on what my, our friend Carmen once said, it's easy being green, or at least it is now. Well, in the recent past, it could be challenging and expensive, to find eco-friendly products for your home. In the last few years, retailers and service providers have made a range of green products and services widely available. Energy saving light bulbs, um, low flow toilets, um, solar electric panels, those are all ways that you can save money in the long run. All right? Well, the initial cost might still be a little high, um, that the regular item, once you've installed them, you will start to see the savings. In addition, of course, there are tax incentives for some of these um, greening devices. So once you um, incur the expense, then of course you can file for it. What? are my expenses. So whether they be mortgage payments, loan payments, leasing, higher purchase, these are all monthly payments that we have to make or we should make every single month. <laughs> but don't forget your bills. Utility bills are also obligations that you should make in a timely manner. 
Now, one of the things that we hear often is, oh, I forget, or, you know, um, oh, don't worry, you don't cut it off when it gets two months late. You know, those are not good strategies to manage debt because more than likely you will carry those over into things like loans, credit cards, whatnot. So it is important to pay your bills on time. At Scotia Mind, we have a fantastic online suite where we can pay utility bills. So that makes it easy for you. Just go online, sit your LinkedIn, and you know, make your payments, right? Another thing you should ensure you do is get a credit card. Now I know <laughs> some persons are hesitant when it comes to credit cards, but they can actually work in your favor. Now it depends on if you're traveling, you need a credit card. You know, online, overseas, everywhere is asking for plastic, right? They're not they're not even taking cash anymore, which is strange. But that's the way the world is going, so you need to have a credit card, but manage it properly. As Caroline said, pay your bills on time. Once again, online, you can pay your bills online. We can also set up automatic payments from your account to pay the, the credit card on the due date. So you don't even have to think about it, your credit card is being paid, right? And those are all simple ways to manage those credit. Another thing you need to do, now even though I'm telling you to get a credit card, is limit yourself to the amount of credit cards you get. I would say two, one for a backup, and that way it eases you in, in terms of you don't have to manage several bills each month. You know, you just have the two cards. One is for traveling, one is for my daily purchases, and that way you keep things nice and tidy. But also when you use one more social cards and you get that reward, that travel reward, use some of your cash when you go on vacation. Now, we encourage you to use the credit card wisely, but if you realize that you're someone who usually runs over the limit and whatnot, set aside some cash. So purchase the ticket with the card, and then just travel with some walking money um, when you're traveling. So that would make sure that you don't overspend. And when you come back from Miami, you realize, oh my goodness, I don't remember spending that much. You only spend what you have, so that helps you. Okay? And just remember that every time you're late, whether it be utility bills, credit cards, loans, whatnot, your credit history at the institution is being impacted. And you know, when you're young and you be reckless with your credit, when you come back later for a loan or a mortgage, then those things we still look at them, right? That credit history follows you. We don't have a credit you're in Barbados, but that credit history follows you from the day that you start being a customer. So which means put everything under one umbrella where possible. So instead of paying 22% here, 16 there, 25 there, you bring everything under one umbrella and you reduce the amount of payments. But it also helps you in terms of budgeting. You know I have one payment per month, I don't have to make several different payments, and the debt is not growing, right? So consolidation is probably the main thing that each person to try to do, especially in a climate like this. Now, once you consolidate and you tighten up the, the budget, it, it enables you to have more cash for investing for those long-term goals and ob ob obligation, or sorry, aspirations. So, what Carolina will go through now is ways that you can invest or the smart ways that you can invest that extra money that you save. So don't go spending it all. Have your time. And I like to tell my customers, um, you're never too young to think about retirement, for example. You're never too young to think about home ownership. Right? You will get there at some point in time. And it is better to be prepared um, than just to when after 20 years down the road, wake up and realize, oh shoot, it's soon time for me to retire. Or I always wanted a home. So, the young you are, you have, usually, you don't really have any expenses. Probably live at home, and you don't really have any bills, no children, need the most of it. <coughs> so, invest early. Have a pay yourself plan. So when you get paid, in addition to paying the credit card bill or the loan um, or the utility bill, pay you. So make sure you are an item on that budget. 
all right? Along with that miscellaneous item, make sure you are a line item on there as well. Invest regularly. So try to do it. Don't, don't do it this year, and then the next time you get around to it, it's five years from now. If you can afford, make sure that you can afford to do it, whether it is on a monthly basis, or quarterly basis, or annual basis. You can choose based on your lifestyle and how things are working out for you, how you want to invest, all right? But make sure it is at least, at least annually. Stay invested. So the longer you stay with an investment, the more likely you are to achieve your financial goals. So don't 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 buy, um, don't do your investment and then two months down the road pull it out. That doesn't make any sense at all. If you're going to invest and make sure before you do your investment, one thing that I have to tell you is to make sure you investigate, carry out your own investigations into the company that you are going to be investing your funds with. All right? Um, you, don't, you don't want to invest in a company and then you lose your investment. So you need to make sure that the company is a reputable company, um, that it's strong financially, so that when you are ready for your investment to mature, you would have access to, to your investment, all right? And <coughs> diversify. So as the old people say, don't put all your eggs in one basket. So this helps to spread your risk. So you might, might want to do um, some conservative investments. You might want to do some high-risk investments. But the, the idea is to spread your risk, all right? and diversify your portfolio.